Did you give that some thought? Well, here I'm running it for you. And I'll bet you got that ab.x is 1 and ab.y is 2. And I'll bet you got a value for ab.c and you didn't realize that there is no z in the ab. And you probably got the which correct. But let's go and see why there is no c. Here, on this line, AB is equal to capital AB parens. We are instantiated an object of the AB class. It's a mixed in class with all the behaviors of A and B. But lest we ask very carefully, we're not going to get all the initializings. Because there's no magic initializer in AB, then we're going to go up to A and find that magic initializer, and we're going to go right on up to X's magic initializer, where we'll put in the X, so that's the X reported. We put in that Y, and that's the Y reported, and now we're done. Z never happened. We never went into this hierarchy for the initialization. So I hope that that drives home the idea that when method resolution algorithm finds the method, it looks no further, not even if it's the constructor, as it might have done in your old language. You have to ask explicitly. If you really want it to initialize up the B hierarchy, or maybe just into Y, we would have to put a magic initializer here and call exactly which magic initializers we want to have happen. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next lab.